Hi everyone. We're going to keep talking about the life of Amy Carmichael. Do you remember in our last lesson how Amy began to pray for a car? Well, after about three months, the secretary of the orphanage came in and told Amy that they had saved enough money to buy a car. Well, Amy was wondering if her heart was selfish if she went ahead and ordered a car, but she moved forward with that decision and she ordered a Ford car. She began to pray and ask God to provide the extra money to pay for the car. And before too long, she received a letter in the mail. In that letter was the exact amount of money to pay for the car. And not only that, but there was a sentence written with the money and it said for the purchase of a Ford car. God is so good. He not only provided for the material needs of the orphanage, but he also provided for Amy's heart because she was worried about making a selfish decision. God showed her exactly what he wanted her to do. It is so awesome how good our God is and he will do the same for you. Sometimes you might have to wait when you're praying before God will answer or before he provides what you're praying for. Sometimes he says no, just like he did with Amy's brown eyes, but he always has a plan and he is always good. And Amy got to continue to experience God's provision and he would always provide for their needs, even if they had to wait sometimes. Well, the car saved them a lot of money and time. If there was a baby or a child that needed help, they could rush to the rescue and God used the car to help change the lives of so many people. Amy hired helpers to build more cottages because the orphanage continued to grow and she began to pray for 10,000 pounds so that they could build a hospital with a really strong sturdy tile roof. They needed a lot of money for back then, but God provided for it in six years. Not only did God provide the money for the hospital, he also provided the doctors and the nurses and the engineers that they needed to work in the hospital. And Amy just had to ask God. She didn't send out letters. She only prayed to him and he took care of them all. Up until this time, Amy had only taken in girls, but she knew that there were boys that needed rescuing as well. But in order to do that, she needed to build more houses and she needed more places for them to live. She also needed helpers that would care for them. God provided for all of that. And he provided for a playground. He provided for a laundry. He provided an ambulance. And he even provided for a blacksmith shop, which is like a metal worker that builds things. Well, near the hospital, there was a piece of land where the locals had built a shrine to an idol. Now a shrine is like a building that surrounds the idol and they use it to pray to the idol. Well, the people that own the property were very fearful. They did not want to sell the property to Amy, even though Amy knew that it would be a huge blessing to the orphanage. And the people were scared. They were full of fear. Amy and all of her helpers and the children began to pray that God would change the hearts of those people that owned the land. And he did exactly that. He removed their fear so that they would sell the property to Amy. And all of her workers and all of the children went over to the property and they tore down the shrine and they busted up the idols. The idols cannot hear us. They cannot speak to us. They don't see our need like our God does. Our God is all knowing. He is good and he wants to give us the things that we need. He had the victory in this situation and he gave them the land and on top of that, continued to allow them to build more houses and places for more children to be rescued and learn about Jesus. Next week, we'll find out more about Amy. Bye.